Welcome back to God of War, this is Bodacious Gamer. Um, today what we're going to do is we're going to do some um, side quests and other things like that. Before we begin properly, I'm going to go to the shop. Oh, look at this. I'm on level 2. Oh, that's, that's sad. Right, something needs to be done about that really, doesn't it? Okay. Um... Let's have a look at this. There's nothing really that... I, I give up too much runic on those two, so I'm not even going to bother. Uh, still, just not worth it. Yeah, boy. And I can't afford those, can I? No, I need solid. It's far too high. Up your mind. Um, what are these? That? So, the, well, I've, I've said in previous videos, you get so many good enchantments later on and, and other things like that that you, I, I won't worry too much about what's in the shop or not. Um, before we begin, actually, I've been asked to go through um, the menu a little bit and explain some things. So, starting with, <clears throat> excuse me, starting with the pommels. So, I've got a really basic pommel, obviously, the minute wood grip doesn't really do anything. Um, later on you will get better pommels and they will add further attributes to your abilities and increase your strength. Um, hopefully I should get one this video so we'll see how we do with that. Um, Atreus also I mentioned in the previous video has his summons. I've only got one at the minute but you do get several more that I will discuss when I pick them up. Um, the other one was my talisman. Now talismans have different attributes. I've only got two as you can see. You can upgrade them just like every other part of your armor. But they do various different things. And there's one later on that I will be using quite prominently. Um, at the minute I'm just going to use this amulet. Because it's really really good at slowing down time. If you can get the dodge right. And I, I'm not really doing too good on the dodging at the minute. So... Um, this one is the Talisman of Concentrated Vitality. These talismans add little stat buffs, so defense up to, vitality up to, and that can be upgraded. Probably go to 2 plus, maybe 3. Um, and just like your runics, which is L1 and R1 and L1 and R2, this is L1 circle to activate, and it just gives you, like, I think it's 1 second's worth of health. And the more you upgrade it, even. I aren't sure if it's more health you get or it lasts longer for the re regeneration. Um, the amulet of Vasia, Silent K, um, is much better. Obviously, level three defense is level, it goes up six, vitality is up eight, but it's a passive effect. So um, the last second dodge activates realm shift, temporarily slowing down surrounding enemies. Upgrading this item increases the duration of realm shift, <clears throat> and realm shift is when the area gets slowed down and I can get a few digs in and, and do some extra damage. Once again, there are more um, talismans to find throughout the game and maybe we'll pick a new one up today. So let's carry on. As I mentioned in a previous video also, I won't be doing as much of the story in this episode. I'm actually gonna... The way back to the Black Breath. Yeah, we know the way. We need to walk across the bridge to the Venheim. Yeah, but we're not going that way yet. Or exploring. Your choice. Um. Let's explore a bit. Let's just do a bit of exploring. So there is a lot to find in this area. Um. So there's a lot of docks to just you know pull up to and areas to find out. I could leave this till later because something will happen later on that opens up more of the map for for me. I don't expect enemies, there they are. Oh. Always do that. Come back to it and we'll forget some of the mechanics. No, that was well off. Oh, that'll do. Oh, 
Yeah. I think I'm getting okay. the hang of this. Pick it up. Hmm. So back to nightmares. These nightmares come after me and try to take me out of the fight. But if father can stop them, hopefully he will. I'll do my best. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, so this is a relatively simple puzzle. Um, spin this round. The spike's lower, revealing the three charms. It's not that hard. Get this, done. this should be one of two videos that I'm going to be doing throughout the day. So they should be released in quick succession, these ones. Hit that as well. Oh, that'll do. The health's gone up. So that's the other thing. It, there is an encouragement to explore. Um, simply because you're not going to get all of the main upgrades just from the main storyline. It does encourage you to, to get round and have a look at things and, and search for things if you want to get uh, Kratos fully maxed out. Is that a fish? Get the barrel. Did you see something out there? That tower. I see no tower. Maybe I'm seeing things. Okay. So there's actually a second area behind all the ice, and I'll, I'll go to that in a second. Okay. No, this isn't just a giant bot. This is a giant. Oh, there you go. It's his face. He's good and dead. So he ain't up any time soon. Hey, look. A torch. A torch is built with wood. That is a brazier. A brazier. Hmm. Looks like there's something written on it. Want me to read it? Yes, please. Kavikia. Focus up, boy. Okay. So, island braziers. Ignite. I was able to light this brazier by reading the runes. Some kind of spell, maybe? I bet there are more of these around the Lake of Nine. Were there more people here before this was a lake? Where did they all go? So many questions. I wish we could ask the world serpent. Well, maybe one day. Oh, where's he gone? Yeah, that's the question. That's much better doing some damage. And... Oh, you gotta love it. Right, one more to go. Him off. There we go. Did okay. yeah? It's not too shabby. What is that? A spirit. It's talking to us. And it hears you as well. You be shy now. There he is. You're dead? <laughs> You're very perceptive. Okay. Viking. These sail or reavers like to use big maces when they fight. Mum always referred to them as Vikings for some reason. Okay. And reckless. Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sailor and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of them. Most are able to move on from this realm. But we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. Farewell. It wasn't easy, uh, 
was to accomplish, wasn't it? So, there you go. Versatile Warrior's Handle. A common axe pommel. Increases strength, defense, oh, and luck. Upgrade to no. increase additional stats. No, be so, so, instead of having the wooden one, it actually changes the aesthetics as well. Which I always think is pretty cool. You can kind of, you know, um, change it how you want to. So, I'm going to go for that one. Obviously, it's got better stats. Not by much, but it's still better. And it's upgradable compared to the original one. So... Let's go for that. So I've kind of accomplished getting that new pommel already. A secret little area here. Um, I think this is some treasure. Quite a bit of hack silver. I'll get a trace up here. Come on. Soon we'll be able to translate those. I see a raven. Um, so, yeah, as things change more, so I can come back here later on, and things will have changed, not in this little section, but more of it will be accessible. Like, you can see these on top, so I'll be able to go up there later and explore a little bit more. So, I guess we should keep an eye out for other spirits. What did I say about distractions? But it sounds like they needed help. They are spirits, boy. Dead things. They have no needs, only wants. It feels wrong to ignore. You will get over these feelings. <clears throat> so these spirits are all located. I thought as much. Are all located in the Lake of Nine. So if you just keep going round and you know docking as much as you can and exploring this area, you will eventually find all of them. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight. Didn't she? Volundia yes, Mines. She fought. I like this place. Beautifully. Here we go. We'll try this. Come on. There we go. I'm kind of glad that didn't take as long as a fight might do. <laughs> An awfully dark all of a sudden. Boy. Look here. While he's doing that, I'll do this. <clears throat> See what it says. And Vari's invention. Through this path lies the mines of Volundir. This great endeavor was made possible by Andvari, the alchemist, son of Avaldi, through whose ingenuity the very stone and bedrock was turned down from obstacle, turned from obstacle to mighty tool of industry. A dwarven miner's greatest fear has always been running afoul of the ancients, but through Andvari's genius, they are now no more than tools in our righteous undertaking. A new age for dwarves dawns here. No mere miners, but master, masters of iron, whose greatest craft is the future itself. Okay. Let's keep going. That's a good you friend, bro. Alchemist were needed finding. What will it be? There you go. And I don't have corrupted remnant. But once I do, that's going up a level. I don't think there's anything else that can upgrade. 
There seems to be someone at my door. Excuse me. And we're back. <laughs> well, that was slightly unusual. I'm sorry about that, guys. But I am. I do have <laughs> a house and a dog to deal with and people knocking on the door. So here we go. That happens. It's going to happen, isn't it? Oh, well. Okay, onwards. That proper throw me off now, that. <clears throat> um, Come back let's just, soon. Let's just carry on. Found. Can I get into this? Yeah, the keystone. Okay. What does it say? Yes, sir. Uh, it says yes, sir. These rooms read death inside. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If you're smart, you'll find it. Did I just miss some law then? Nah, I'm not going to be able to get that now. It so, took me a while to find it. Rock said his friend was dwarven like him. Wearing a green ring. Look if you wish. I will be gathering resources for our friends. What's that? Oh, you don't you want to help him? No. Why not? Because I do not run air. Dwarven. But no ring. One of his crew? Scorch marks. There, along the floor and wall. Weird. I guess we keep looking. We. I mean... That really has thrown me off. I'll have to get back into um this. I just didn't expect anyone to knock on my door <laughs> while I'm recording a video. If it is too dark, by the way, guys, I might have to turn the brightness up. Just let me know. There we go. Oh, yeah. 
Focus up. Ah, oh, damn revenant. So much. So when I see one, it's just like, just kill it. Just get it. Get it dead. don't get to play as um, consistently Sir. and often as I would like but just coming back and going through hey, you know reminding myself of the fighting mechanics and the way it feels to fight in this game it's so good I understand people are still finding secrets in this game. Um, I think his name's Cora Balrog, Balrog the um, the director of the game, announced that there's recently been um, another secret that needed to be discovered. And people say it's some runes in the house from the beginning of the game. But I feel that's not enough. I feel that, that is that really the secret he was on about? Is there something else? Because he hasn't confirmed that yet. Right, I need one more letter. That's the way I came from. To the soul eater. Well, we know what happened to Invari now. We can just go tell Brock. No need Definitely to fight. dead. Right? No. You will fight it. But why? Because you are frightened of it. Face your fears. Him. Oh, I thought I got the dodge in there. Yeah. 
be strong, Atreus. Stay focused and look for a weak point. Yes, sir. <laughs> that was just a normal bird. That just blew up a normal bird, sorry. Okay. So I believe this is the first time we've faced one of these. Go straight for the chest, see if we can get on it. Let's have a look at this. That's pretty cool. How have I not seen that before? Let's upgrade it. Let's equip it. It's still... Yeah, well, it's about the same really, isn't it? It does a little bit of stun damage. Let's give that a go. I don't think it'll really work with this thing. Whoop. That didn't work out too well, did it? Come on. Wait. Wow, that's a lot of damage. I did not expect that. I don't know if you saw how much damage I did then with that, but... Really not so much for me. <clears throat> so the Soul Eater. They look almost exactly like ancients, but there's something off about them. Mom always called the Soul Eaters dangerous abominations. She never said a bad word about any living creature, even poisonous bugs. So her saying that always stuck with me. I wish I could tell her father and I killed one. Thank you, Father. Let's see if that's the alchemist ring. Ooh, shinies. Yeah, I've, I've never um, done that amount of damage before to an ancient. That was crazy. So it increases resistance to burn damage by 20%. And that's the fire sigil of protection. And that's just another enchantment that will go on your armor. What's this? Green Alchemist ring. ring. Dwarvish inscription. The alchemist. But where's the rest of it? Her ashes, most likely. <laughs> Soul leader got him. I guess we should bring this back to Brock. So the green ring belonging to Brock's friend, Advari. Uh, Brock will probably want to give this a look. And that's it. I just didn't expect to do that much damage. Um, I don't think it was really me, though, was it? It was the, the exploding barrel. And um, yeah, yeah, okay, we're done. I'm, so, I'm still in. A little bit of shock of how much damage that did. It basically took like three quarters of its health off. You don't need my permission, just kick it down. Hello. There we go. That's smacking right back at Ed for taking so long. Shame. Read it. <clears throat> These runes were written fast. Spell okay, in the jewel. Gimsteini? If this is a message from Advari, who what does he mean? Is it something about the ring we found on his hand? Let's ask. Gimsteini. Gimsteini. Mm. 
There you go. Set it for me. We will ask the blue one. So now you're interested? We found his alchemist. A reward was promised. Let's go claim that reward then. I'll be honest, that, that R1 is really good. Huge, huge AOE. The, the charge on it is quite high. I think you could be able to do in, like an instantaneous release. It just either won't go as far or it won't do as much damage. But still, really cool. But I don't want to go all the way back over there. I'll have a look. I'm pretty sure I've never ever done this. Is this a bonus area or...? I don't remember this bit. Just circles back around. Okay. Whee! No arm in doing that twice. That new one's really growing on me. It's got a huge AOE. I do like the concentrated three swings, but I just really love the size of the AOE. Okay, I'm pretty much done now. I honestly thought that would take a little bit longer than it has. So, we got through that quite efficiently. What'd you find? A Your ring. Alchemist. I'm sorry, bro. The hand is all we could find. Still wearing the ring. There was a soul eater inside. And, well, it must have burned away the rest of him. Suppose you'll still be wanting some compensation, huh? Naturally. Naturally, he says. Miani Feruxi. Whatever that means. I think he swore us. So the group of Volunders. Rare axe pommel. Very low perk activation chance. Sorry, left a bit of magic inside for he groped. Dwarves can do that? Sure, dwarves and magic jewels is like flies and pig lips. Supple. Oh, I'm not as interested as I thought. Okay. So very low perk activation chance to grant protective barrier preventing damage from enemy attacks on any successful axe hit. So and that's a pommel. Let's have a look at this. So it's even stronger than that one. But that one Oh no. Like even though um this increases more stats, the overall increase for the group of Volander is better. And it looks cool. So I'm gonna do it. Nearly at level three. Might be able to All right, some stuff. Break? <sighs> Just not enough world serpents. Oh, here we go. Well, then, Anything else? Um, we'll save that because it costs a lot. Okay. So, uh, you sticking around for grains of wisdom? Uh, no, we're gonna go. Let's get out of here.
come. Okay, he lets the boy go first. Make sure he's you know, through safe. Get back on the boat. So, I'll do... One or two more locations on these side quests. In these little side areas. And then we can start back on... Um, so, know any good stories to pass the time? Huh? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. I just love seeing the world serpent Weren't in the background. You were a boy? There was a man I knew a long ago. Yeah. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds. One that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like mm. the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? Oh. We will finish that later. Okay. Boy. Yes, sir. <laughs> so these portals come in really handy later on. Like that one you could have missed for a long time. Which meant if you wanted to come back here on the boat you get. But now I've got that. You can just choose when you want to come back. Like this area here. Is not accessible until later on. When things change a little bit. Right, okay. Um, I've got to remember how to do this now. Whoops. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, get that revenant. Go on, take her down. God, I hate them. I know. <laughs> I say that every single time, literally every time. But you don't. I don't think you understand unless you're playing the game. How much disdain you can have for an enemy. No match for us. That was rather quick, is that it? So the cursed tatsel worm. This tassel worm doesn't have the poison spar, but it does have a sack in its throat that lets it bath poisoners. I know, it's really gross. The poison is deadly to the touch, so even if we dodge the attack, we still need to be careful not to step in it. So it leaves a little AoE. Am I leaving footprints in the sand? That's quite cool. Let's see, I want the bag. Um, I can save that. I don't need my health. I can't remember how to get this. I do know it involves the lever outside Ooh, and the ch pulling fun. the chain. <clears throat> well, wait a minute. I might be mistaken saying this area is accessible later on. Come on, hurry up. So I'll lock you in, you're in. Okay. So now I have to find a way around. Can I go through the waterfall? Can... Oh, look. Come and face me, God of Thunder! Uh, about four. Your challenges mean nothing to the God Spirit. They do not listen. Do not mock my pursuit of vengeance. Though my family devoted their lives to worshipping Thor, I've devoted mine to his downfall. And I will start with that statue hanging over my father's grave. Unlikely. You are dead. Is there something we can do? For a reward, of course. If you bring down the statue, you have my blessing to loot my father's grave. He rests on an island to the east. We might be able to do that. Why do you hate Thor so much? After my father passed, my mother built the statue to watch over his grave. Imagine our surprise when the God of Thunder himself came to offer condolences. At first we were thrilled, but he quickly took advantage of our hospitality. My mother begged him to leave, and Thor, in his drunken rage, killed him. I was left with nothing but grief. 
Eventually, I lost that as well, and found only rage in its place. I... I'm so sorry. Come, boy. We have a statue to destroy. Kratos seems a smidge motivated now. There's some big ass gates. Oh, very smart. My father's grave lies on an island to the east. Yo, Do not mistake right. my mother's statue of Thor with that monstrous eyesore to the south. Yeah, because there's that giant statue next to uh, in the center of the Lake of Nine, isn't there? Yay, so now we're back in here and I can get in here. And get this. Never made this man. End of a talisman. So, a golden talisman of protection, a rare talisman. Activate immediately after being hit to recover faster. Also has a passive effect that increases the timing window on parries and greatly increases defense when blocking. Um, it has better strength and better defense. But the amulet of Vasir is overall better in terms of its level. Um, see, that's a toughie, that. But I'm gonna go with the time slowing thing for now. So activates immediately after being hit to recover faster. Also, as a path to increase the timing. Yeah, let, let's stick with this for now. And if I can upgrade it, maybe I'll um, I'll switch to it. All right, so let's go back round. Yeah, I thought like this bridge was on it for later on, but I was obviously blatantly wrong. one whose mom was killed by Thor? What about it? Let his story be a reminder. The lives of men mean nothing to the gods. I know, Father. You know. But do you listen? Yes. Good. Vatum God Pass. I think I'm saying that right. So, what happened with the hare and the tortoise? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? <laughs> okay. Here. Boy. Vader. Southern outposts of the Dwarven King. Vetagat. Dwarven King? Have you ever heard of a Dwarven King? No. So the ruins of Vetagard. Nothing remains of Vetagard except the ruins of Motsognir's cruelty. The once fertile soil is barren, soaked with the blood of both hunters and the hunted. It was the noble Dwarf King himself who demanded the bloodshed. He who conscripted, conscript, yeah, conscripted the gentle farmers of these lands into an army of ill-equipped hunters. He whose thirst for savage beasts produced a legion of widows. The castle still stands for those foolish enough to scavenge, wherein dwells the deadliest of its quarry. Let caution guide you. Yikes. Doesn't sound like a very nice place. Father will probably want to visit anyways to look for useful resources. He's gotten a little predictable, but I'm still having fun seeing new places with him. So he's enjoying this little adventure with his dad. And... Sorry, too tempted. And is uh, hey, sharing Bob. moments with him, I guess. Go for a picnic. I suppose you're talking about Motsignir? Some bitch ruled over the humans once lived in this area. Built itself a castle just north of here. A dwarven castle? What's it like? You got yourself a pair of eyes and legs, ain't you? Might want to stock up before you head that way, though. Old Motsignir's known for collecting all manner of killering creatures. Not sure who's looking after him now. Let's yes, do it. <laughs> he just throws his hammer down. There's oh, nothing new. So I could upgrade this. <sighs> I 
means I'm just being hit to a faster. Let's do it. Let's just do it. No I'll clip it. There you go. So they're both they're both the same really. Except the stats were a little bit better on the uh, golden talisman. I'm too short, come on. Something on your mind, boy? Nope, absolutely nothing to upgrade there. Um, artifacts, I can sell these. Hope you got what you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Always right. a pleasure. Guys, I'm going to leave this. Right well, we are about to leave, actually, funny enough. Um, guys, thank you so much for um, watching my videos. I will be putting another video up within the next 24 hours after this one as well. And I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll carry on with Motsignia and go into this area that we're about to go into because there's no point really leaving it because we're here. Thank you so much, guys, and I will see you soon. Bye.